exercises will be a review for you, and then some might be new to you. I will guide you through it. Hope you have fun. Happy Monday. Na, na, na. Most of you probably remember our jumping jack lesson, but here is a review. Okay, so you're gonna start off as the letter I. Good job, the letter I, okay? Then your body, let me scoot back, is gonna turn into the letter X. Good job, raise your hand though, okay? So you're gonna go I, X, I, X, I, X, I. I'm tired. So again, it's the letter I, then X. And that is my dog. What up, dog? So, I and then X. I, X. And you're gonna try 20 of those. <gasps> 20! I know. You can do it. we're going to be doing some jogging. Now we can jog around objects or we can jog in place. I will let you decide. If you want to jog around an object, you're going to need to pause the video to get two objects. I've got some canned corn here and some canned beans down there. You can also use toys, shoes, or whatever. If you would like to mark out a spot to jog around, here's what you'll do. You're going to put one of your markers down on the ground and then you're going to walk 10 feet from your marker. Okay, if you want to walk more, awesome, because the closer together your markers are, the dizzier you will become. Trust me, you want them far apart, because we're going to be jogging together for one whole minute, which equals what? 60 seconds! Woohoo! Yes, 60 seconds we will be jogging together, and we don't want you to get dizzy. So make sure your markers are far apart. My carpet is 10 feet long, so I've got about 10 feet to work with here. If you want to jog in place, you can absolutely jog in place. Whatever you decide is fine by me, so pause the video if you would like to get your markers set up and ready. Then you can come back and unpause it and we will jog for one whole minute together. I'm going to get started right now. Okay, ready. Here comes the timer. Set. Go! The timer is on. I'm jogging. They have my dogs on them. So cute. So, touchdown squat. You're going to start with your feet together, okay? As you go out, you squat down, touch the ground, and you shout, touchdown. Then you come back together. Your feet are together. Touchdown, together. Touchdown, together. Touchdown, 
together. Notice I'm keeping my face looking forward. I'm not bending over like this, but as I touch the ground, my shoulders and my back stay upright, and then I come together with my feet. Touchdown, touchdown, okay? So we're gonna try 10 touchdown squats together. Ready, set, touchdown, touchdown, feet come together, touchdown for three, touchdown for four, touchdown for five, touchdown for six, touchdown for seven, touchdown for eight, touchdown for nine, last one, touchdown for 10, you did it, round of applause. So you're gonna grab your imaginary basketball or whatever ball you wanna try and shoot in that basket, okay? As we squat down, we're gonna have that ball here and then as we go up, we're gonna shoot the basket as we come off of our feet into the air. Still holding that ball, we're gonna squat and shoot the basket, squat and shoot the basket, squat and shoot the basket, okay? We're gonna try 10 squat and shoot the baskets in five, four, three, two, get your basketball, one. Squat, shoot that basket, squat, shoot that basket for two, shoot that basket for three, squat and shoot that basket for four, squat and shoot, five, squat and shoot, six, squat and shoot, seven, squat and shoot, eight, squat and shoot, nine, squat and shoot, 10. <laughs> Round of applause. Shake out your legs. Whew, my heart rate is up. Yes, I love being active. Hey everybody, it is time for some ski jumps and I know all of you have been working very hard on your ski jumps and probably already know how a ski jump is done, but we're going to review. Whee! Everybody dance now. Ju, 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 ju. Oh, you're here. Okay, next exercise we're going to do are ski jumps. Now, the first thing you need when you're doing a ski jump is your warm hat, of course, okay? <clears throat> it's cold out there. All right. Now, the second thing you need when you're doing a ski jump is your goggles. Hello. All right. ready okay when you're doing a ski jump you want to make sure that your feet are together that your knees are bent okay and that you have your poles nice and tight so you don't drop them off the mountain when you're doing your ski jumps okay, you're gonna move from side to side keeping your feet together and landing softly on your knees okay be gentle with your ski jumps. Notice that my feet are barely making a noise. That's because I'm landing on the balls of my feet. Okay? So you don't want to jump and go, ooh! All right? Side to side. Easy does it. You can even go put something down on the ground, maybe a banana. I've got lines in my carpet, so that's helpful. I can go over my lines, okay? I can even go forward. But notice I'm jumping softly and holding on tightly to my ski poles. And that is how you do a ski jump. So let's try it. I'm gonna challenge you. I don't know why I did the number three. We don't need to know, but that's good. Let's count. One, two, three, yeah! Three has nothing to do with the amount of ski jumps you're going to do. Just thought I'd throw a number at you. Ready. Set. Go.
Stations. Hope you enjoyed them. And you can do these stations at any time. Don't need a lot of space. You can count to 30 seconds in your head, 60 seconds in your head. You can set a timer, have some fun, and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>